Welcome back to Backyard Cars, and today I'm going to update you on this here Monte Carlo, and then we're going to go on a 60 mile cruise with some other cars around Lake Apopka. So, let me get this thing moved real quick. Actually, I don't have a steering wheel. It's inside. Oh, let me get that. So I'm actually not going to move it because I don't feel like going in and getting the steering wheel. Um, so we'll just do it like it is. If you follow the channel, you know the Motley Carlo very well. And you know why we call it the Motley Carlo. I, I just got a short to show you, you know, what it looked like the day we got it and what she looks like now. You can check that out. But this is her, 72 Monte Carlo that we purchased, saved from the scrapyard. And, you know, just made sure we could put it back on the road. You know, made sure it was safe to drive. It's not, it's not in the, the best shape. It's got rust and some holes and, well, somebody hastily covered in the turn lens area with some Mondo. They did a good job. Not really, but okay. And it, it's missing the drip rail and a bunch of other things. And that's, let's go inside. Uh, and well the steering wheel is inside the house and but it don't look much better than everything else that you see it it's pretty rough built a little console down here for some gauges because i got to take the whole dash out on the count of the rust that the poor car has and that that's not it i mean the rust is everywhere it's along the cow and this whole pillar here and well that lack of metal kind of tells you that it's got some rust issues but it's okay she runs good now and it stops good now and it's got decent tires on it and you know it kind of gets it. a custom shifter that of course isn't correct and they they you know crudely cut a hole in the floor and stuck it in but it, it don't lock into any gear so you you just you're you know you count the clicks from the transmission and it's okay a little bit of door panelage oh previous owner and if you can see the back panel back there she's it's 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 in bad shape you know but it's a fun car to drive So, let's now get up under the hood. We'll show you what we've done under here. I already had it pop, so I didn't have to lean down there and uh, two hand to push her up. But now, it had wheel wells in it when we got it, but they were plastic and cracked and busted. So I, I just removed them. And, you know, that weight reduction and air cooling efficiency. And you know, when we brought her home, there was no pulleys on it. The serpentine, you know, was stole from a truck. And, and, of course, it works good. I don't think it's exactly lined up how we perfectly, but it's acceptable, you know. It runs a while. It don't really eat up belts a whole lot. It does actually look like I had one squealing on me. Backside that tensioner pulley, maybe mm, you can see the burn mark. I'm gonna have to investigate that now that I'm in here, but yeah, we moved the battery to the trunk. This motor was in the truck car and it ran, so we just kind of been limping her along. She's got good power, decent compression, runs pretty good, sounds great. Turbo 400 trans with some, you know cheap two cha single chamber knockoff flow masters but it is what it is we we saved it from the crusher you know and uh
it's, it's back on the road. So that's her, the Motley Carlo. So guys, when we first got this car, we thought, well, we'll make it like a drag and drive cruiser, you know, something we can run around you know, have a little fun and who cares if it gets dinged up and done it up and maybe we'll get it into sick week. But unfortunately we we, we missed sick week. <sighs> yeah, I was late, tickets sold out, oh well. But we're not gonna get rid of the car just yet because we did take it to the track and it ran 16s, good and slow. And we can do a little improvements on that and then show you some results at the track again. Now that we're all caught up on the Motley Carlo or introduced to the Motley Carlo, let me go ahead and get my maintenance things done and I'll bring you back in the morning when we get down to the start of the cruise and well, you can ride along with us and the other classics. All right, we got this beautiful 69 TA on our cruise. Yeah, Mark's 68 Camaro, of course the Motley Carlo. And, and then up here we got Ed's original sturdy 30 Chevrolet. He's going to be cruising along with us. Beautiful car. Mark's Ford, Mike's Tri-5, Brett's Corvette, Mr. Fast, beautiful 442, like a 63, 65, um, I don't think the Camaro's going or the BMW, but look at the old Ford pickup that joined us, love the old drivers, man, and the old Ford pickups like this, they're good looking trucks. All right, here we go. Jess Nicole, world famous, and little Jane. Mark, the sturdy 30. TA. Woo. Oh, maybe the Camaro was rolling with us. Yeah. And the pickup. Oh, I think maybe the Porsche is going too. All right, let me grab my coffee. Let's get in this bad boy and go. We're making our run. I'm gonna show you some out front views here in a little bit. Some of the cruising through the Florida country. We'll be rocking and rolling.
Well, now we're at the cruising portion, the little car show after the cruise. And I can't uh, use the natural audio on account of the music playing in the background, but most of these cars there, they were on the cruise with us. Some of them that we'll see were not. But let's just walk around and show you some of the cars that are here at the Beef O'Bady's Cruising with DJ Rockin' Rich. 67 Cougar, 70 Chevelle from Past and Present Motors. That made the trip all the way around the lake with us. Another 70 Chevelle. Dodge Dart. Olds 442, I think it's 63. Wayne and the little blue truck. Ford F-150, F-250, sorry, 71, Renegade, oh, Money Pit Camaro, Motley Carlo, and little Jane, she made it, yeah, 69 Firebird, like, looking like a TA, beautiful car, mid-80 G-Body SS Monte Carlo, pretty sharp, Couple of V dubs, you know, I like the buses. They're pretty, pretty cool. Then, like a 2016 Camaro. Gene owns that. Boy, he wants to go. That car flies. And Gene, well, he had to use his patience on the cruise. 65 C10. Beautiful truck. I love those 65s. They're nice. 50s vet. Stingray vet. It's like a 66 vet, maybe? 67? I don't know, is that a Monza? Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We appreciate you riding along and hope you enjoyed the cruise and the classic cars. If you're not subscribed, go down there and Ring the bell and do the thumb thing, you know? Come watch what we do next time. Don't forget to comment. Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like. I, I don't know. But most importantly, come back and see us the next time when we do whatever we're going to do. Have a great weekend. And go work on something. Go get, get your cars together. I don't know. Take it for a drive.